Hello, welcome to our soup making class. Well, first, I'm going to start with the materials. Of the first one is nitrosol. Second one is caustic soda. The third one is texapon and our sulfonic acids. Then the fourth one is going to be the rice or SLS. Next one is soda hash. The next one is STPP. We have our color. You can use any color of your choice. We have our perfume. We have our perfume. You can use any perfume of your choice as well. Then we have our salt as preservative. I'm using salt as preservative for this soap making because it's going to be used for dish washing as well as um, any uh, uh, and laundry it can also be used for your laundry as well. In that, if you are using it for mainly car wash, if you are making soap, liquid soap for car wash, you could use formalin. I did not want to use formalin as my preservative because we are going to be using it for edible things. I mean the plates and dishes and all of that. To begin with, we have our buckets of water already filled. You start by filling up. For this soap making, I have materials for 25 liters of soap production. So the first thing you need to do is to get a bigger bowl or a bigger drum. You fill it up to 30 liter with 30 liter of water. Then you dispense into smaller bowl, bowls or buckets as I've just done. So, based on the numbers, the steps I've written on my materials, I'm going to be taking them one after the other. Note, nitrosol is the first um, reagent to, that forms the soap. And it's also the last one we are going to be dissolving. It's the first that it's going to be um, it's the first I want to add other reagents to and it's also the very last one I'm going to dissolve in water so I'm going to be taking my caustic soda next now so this is the caustic soda I'll be turning it into this bucket of water while I stir thoroughly to dissolve the chemical note it looks like sugar it's crystalline it looks like sugar in nature so we stir thoroughly you have to be careful while making soap while making soap Ensure your kids are not close by. Ensure your hands are not close to the material as well because it could cause damage to the skin. Also ensure that while mixing it doesn't splash into your eyes because that will be very very dangerous. So like I said, you start with 30 liter of water into a, into a bigger drum. Then you dispense into smaller bowls, just as we've done. So the first reagent we are dissolving is our caustic soda. Caustic soda. Caustic soda, as nature, uh, by nature, if it's too much in your soap production, could cause itching of the skin or damage to the skin. So it is advised that, for example, as we are making 24, 25 liters of soap. We, we, when buying your reagent, they are going to give you one quarter kilogram. They are going to be needing one eighth of that measurement to make your 25 liter of soap. So we are going to stop with that. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to mix our step three. For step three, we are going to be adding our sulfuric acid into a clean bowl of water 
into a screen bowl. I'm going to go hard in our sulfuric acid first. So that's the sulfuric acid. Then we're going to add our text upon. I'm going to add our text upon. We'll mix this too thoroughly. We'll mix this too thoroughly before adding water to it. So you're trying to use the sulfuric acid to dissolve the text upon. If you use water direct to dissolve text up, it doesn't give you that complete mixture and that could affect your soap production. Who really doesn't need soap at home? We all need soap to make to do certain things at home. So making this yourself will save you so many stress. Thoroughly, that is the mixture of sulfuric acid and texapon. Okay, so we've been able to achieve this. What we'll be doing now is to add water into this mixture. So I'm going to be adding 15 to 20, 15 liter of water into this mixture. I'm going to be adding 15 liter of water into this mixture. So you stir as you add the water. You stir as you add the water. Okay. If you don't stir, it could form cake and if it does that it's going to disturb your soap production you could you could use your hand gloves as well as your nose mask when making soap production I'm going to be mixing now is our uh, rice or SLS. So that's the mixture of the example sulfuric acid and water. Okay, so the next thing now is our uh, rice. So here's rice or SLS. The shape of rice, the rice the grain, rice grain. Mm -hmm. The shape looks like rice grain. So all 
these chemicals are prepared in separate buckets and left for it to mix together thoroughly before all is going to be uh, all poured step after step into that large bucket, the bigger bowl or drum that you're going to make the soap. So the next one is going to be a soda hash, soda hash, soda hash. Note we are mixing pot in water, not pouring water into them. STPP They are all in powder form except the tetra form and sulfuric acid For this soap production I'm making, I'm just making use of the um, of color blue. If you use, there are several colors in the bucket that you can use. Then you add color based on your choice. I mean the thickness. If you want it so thick, light, depending on what you want. So we're adding half of this. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. So we're going to stir that. Okay. So back to our table. Like I said, this nitro soil is the first to be in the bigger bowl we are going to be using to mix the other um, reagents. It's also the last we are going to mix. So let's do that now. Okay, so here we have our water, our clear water to mix. Uh, nitro soil. Nitro soil is very tricky. You have to turn vigorously as you as you pour. You have to turn. You have to turn vigorously and also lower your hand into the bucket because 
it could disturb the nose when the breeze blows it into your nose. You really have to turn vigorously immediately as you are pouring the powder. You may need to know what happens if you don't turn it well. It forms cake. And that means you need to get another one outrightly before you can complete your soup. I'm going to just go through all the buckets. Mind you, they are all arranged according to how we are going to be pouring them into a bigger drum. So here is the first and the last we mix, which is the nitro salt. Which is the nitro salt. The second step going into the big drum is the caustic soda. The third is the mixture of texaphone and sulfuric acid. The fourth is the rice. The next one is the soda hash. The next one is the STPP. And we have our color. We are also going to be adding our perfume later, as well as our preservative, which is the salt. So here is a bigger drum. Here is a bigger drum. So our nitro salt is going into it. Last one is going to be the STTP mixture.
Okay. So the next one now is our color and perfume. The color, the perfume, and the preservative, which you are going to be adding to this after 18 to 24 hours. Thank you for joining our soap making class. So I'm going to show you this is the one we we did the last time. This is what the outcome is going to give us. Thank you very much for joining this class. Hope to see you in another beautiful class very soon. Thank you. Ah, hello.